I gotta go. To see your girlfriend? Yeah, my hot, succulent, 80-year-old geriatric girlfriend. That's a man. Dude, it's Saturday today. I know. Listen, I'm really sorry about this. I'll try to make it up to you. Um, like, if you want some ice cream, or you kind of were looking at those daisies before. Maybe next weekend we can go. Maybe pick up a couple panda steaks. You know, you've always had your eye on that little brick of hash. I get to go back in time to prevent the yeast infection of 97. Anything sort of like that. Maybe a diamond encrusted Rolex watch. Okay, listen, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be flippant. Um, have some eggs, it'll put hair in your chest and I'll see you later-ish. Rolex would be pretty sweet. But am I making too much of a deal about this? Well, maybe he really needs his help. Well, I think this guy needs a full-time nurse, not Pete. Well, maybe he's more comfortable with Pete. Well, it was the weekend. Maybe you should be happy that Pete's was really nice. I was thinking of trying something, you know, not so hardcore. Maybe something, you know, medium core. Okay. You know, something like take a sexy magic marker and draw cartoons on each other. Or maybe you can do something like we're putting on a play and, you know, you can wear a mustache. I wear a mustache? Well, you don't have to wear it on your face. What does that even mean? Um, listen, I could wear a mustache, you could wear a mustache. We could pretend we're in a hot dog eating contest. You know, it doesn't really matter. We can go Christmas shopping and make it sexy. Listen, I hope you're not mad at me, but I really don't think that this is too big of a deal. Dale's an old man. He could be mixing up his pills. I think we gotta keep this in perspective. It's not like committing some sort of act of terrorism here. It's not like I'm flying a plane into you or something. I think what I'm doing is actually pretty good. Maybe that is a little weird. It was almost midnight. Maybe it's something else. Well, like what? Maybe it's someone else. I wanna meet Dale. I want you to meet Dale. But Lisa, right now the timing just isn't right. He's a whole host of medical issues that I can't really get into, but for the purposes of this conversation, I'll get into them. A couple weeks ago, doctors found stool in his blood, but they haven't found blood in his stool yet. So we're kind of optimistic for that. He has a version of prater will syndrome. So basically part of his brain is atrophied. I don't believe you. Fair enough, I was exaggerating, but he isn't feeling well and it's not a good time. Right in front of me, a woman fell. She fainted, right at the top of the escalator, just in the rush hour. And a crowd came around, you know, as crowds do. Somebody had to take charge. So you went in and just sort of pushed them all away to make sure that they cleared the air so she had room to breathe. So these are the things that happen. Oh, well, I'm glad you're doing well. I mean, Pete said that you were really sick before, so I'm glad you're doing better. Oh, oh yeah, no, no, I, I'm, I'm qu quite ill. But, but, but Pete is such a great help, it really is. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's great. But um, I, I wish he would have been more blonde. Oh, excuse me, that's the bell. I'm expecting to interview some men. Would you excuse me, please? Sure, sure. Okay. He seems fine. He's not doing good, Lisa. He's putting on a front because this is the first time you guys met. But you'd not believe the amount of pills, lotions, elixirs this guy's on. Can't even take a bath with real water anymore. It's like he's taking a bath with uh, water in his mind or whatever that means. He ate a raccoon, apparently, a couple months ago. People won't even come close to this place anymore. Not even the imaginary people that used to come here. I'll be right back. Maybe it's a projection thing. It just seems so unhealthy. Well, maybe Pete needs to be needed. By Dale? Well, maybe he's just helping the guy out. So, do I make an issue out of this? Maybe it's something else entirely. Like what? Maybe he's a compulsive liar. What's this? Nothing. It, it is something. What is this? Put this in perspective. Okay, I love the smell of leather vest. Or that whole leather emporium. Why are you even Sorry. going through my bag anyway? It is for Halloween. Halloween was eight months ago and you were Mary Lou Retton. So what is this? It's for a play about Halloween, okay? Who are you doing a play about Halloween with? Dale's in kind of an old person's motorcycle club thing. You're in a gang. You're in a motorcycle gang. Sort of, but it's a cute old person motorcycle gang. A cute? What, what does that mean? They just hang out and they think about having motorcycles and they do old people things. This makes no sense. It makes perfect sense. Why are you even going through my bag anyways? 
What do you think that I am supposed to think about all of this? Okay, maybe if you can't understand why I'd want to hang out with an old person motorcycle gang, maybe it's time we rethink this relationship just a little bit. Yeah, you know what? We better. Okay, listen, I'm gonna make it up next weekend. We'll go to that market you like. We could try Sorry. jacking a car. The idea I have for a drug Drop operation drug is that. not to subjugate women or objectify them by calling them hot. Listen, I know this really sucks. Maybe he's an alcoholic. I gotta go. Dale needs me. Again, things will get far worse for you. Oh, welcome back. I was meaning to have a talk with you. We're just making lemonade? Well, Eve, I, I do apologize for the deception, but it's been a tricky situation. I'm sure you understand. Your activities with Pete have been interfering with, with my time. But he's my boyfriend. Yes, but he's my property. As you probably noticed, he has been coming over here a lot, but that's because he needs direction. He needs firm direction. And I don't think you've been firm enough with him. So is, is he leaving me for you? No, no, he couldn't. He can't leave without your permission. The two of you have a beautiful thing going. I have no one desire to interfere with that. I just think he needs direction. I think it's something that you should consider, being far more direct with him, and if necessary, get physical because he responds to that very well. As long as Pete gets the direction from either of us, he'll be fine. I think we should make a schedule. I'm just gonna need a little time to process this. Of course, no, no, I understand that. But I want you to think about what we've said, but let me know as soon as you come to a decision. Okay. See you guys. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I know how that looks. It probably looks bad. It might look bad. Oh, you think it looks bad, huh? Possibly. Listen, you gotta understand one thing about Dale, okay? He's a deluded old man. There's nothing I could do about this. Uh -huh. Think of it as me doing a service for an old man in the last twilight years of his life. I'm just trying to do something Shut good. Up. That stuff didn't even happen. Do you actually think I like this? Do you think I want to do this? 